Today guys, I'll be showing you the best Windows tweaking utilities that you need to be using to maximize system performance and to ensure Windows is feeling as responsive as possible. I recommend you to create a restore point before doing any of this, just in case you do something wrong that causes Windows to break or stop working as intended. It's important you follow through this card carefully and only change additional settings if you have an understanding of what they do. If not, just follow exactly what I do in this video. If you're not sure how to create a restore point, then all you need to do is type create a restore point in the Windows search bar, click create and name it whatever you think is easiest to remember. To start this video off, we'll be looking at one tool for everything. Chris is a YouTuber with a large following who over the last 20 years worked in various roles within the IT industry including IT director for Microsoft. Now I'm sure this is one of the most popular and vouched for Windows utilities. In here you're able to optimize Windows settings, debloat Windows and install pretty much any software that you would use all within one utility. It receives constant updates and has been improved massively over the last few years. So to open the software, you can either Google one tool for everything and go to Chris's website or I'll leave a link to the text needed to run in PowerShell. Inside of here, I recommend starting with the tweak section. Now Chris himself recommends just select standard and he advises not to touch anything within the advanced tweaks as this can break certain features or functionalities of Windows. So what we we'll start off with doing is applying all the standard Windows tweaks. So what you want to do is just click standard and apply the standard tweaks and allow them to be applied. Recently added was the section for adjusting ONO ShutUp, which in itself is a different software. ONO ShutUp allows a user to take full control of which features Windows 10 and 11 uses and allows you to decide which settings Windows can control in regards to your private data. Once opened, I'd recommend creating a restore point like it prompts you to and then only enable the setting that it shows as recommended. Once you've done that, you can come up to the action section and click apply only recommended settings. Once that's done, you can come out of here. Now it's personal preference whether you install anything using this utility or just install them manually, but I do recommend installing the Visual C++ and Net Runtime Windows tools. Once you've done that and all tweaks have been applied, you can close out the software. One thing to note is you do have to wait for the tweak section installations to finish. Once that's done, you'll be able to install the Visual C++ and the Net Runtime Windows tools. Now the next thing we will be covering is the Ultimate Windows Tweaker 5. If you're on Windows 10, you'll need to install Windows Tweaker 4 or 4.8. Most of the settings will be the same for Windows 10. However, if there's settings that differ, there's plenty of guides on Windows Tweaker 4 on YouTube. Ultimate Windows Tweaker is a tiny software that allows you to customize your operating system. This is a portable software since it doesn't require installation and leaves your registry keys intact. Now on the system information section, once again I advise creating a restore point before tweaking any settings. Once you've done that, you can then run the system file checker utility which will scan your computer for any corrupt, damaged or missing Windows files. We will then go to the customization section and disable start animations and disable transparency effects and click apply tweaks. We will then go to the performance section and adjust these sliders all the way to the lowest values. I then recommend selecting all these boxes. The only exception being is if you use a printer, leave this box unchecked. And if you have a hard drive, then leave the super fetch service enabled. Once the system file checker scan is done, go back to system information and run the repair system image. Under the security and privacy tab, I recommend turning off user tracking and disabling OneDrive. Under privacy, I recommend disabling all that you don't use. Of course, if you use a camera or microphone, then don't check these boxes. Under additional section, you, you want to apply the enable network adapter onboard processor. You also want to restrict access over anonymous connections. Disable recent shares, hide entire network, hide computer from the browser list, and enable NTLM2 support. If you hover over these, it will actually tell you what they do at the bottom. Now just make sure everything has been applied and close the software. 
Now the next tool we will be using is Revo Uninstaller. This is handy to use for when you fresh reinstall Windows as what you can do is update Windows and then open the software to completely remove the bloatware that's pre-installed with Windows. I have already done this but of course I'll still show you how to do this properly. So what you want to do is go to the Windows apps and for you, you may have a bunch more apps than me but anything you don't use, let's say for example OneDrive or the export services you can right click on them and click uninstall click continue you will then scan the app for leftover files click select all and then delete keep doing that for all the pre-installed bloatware that you're never going to use now if you head over to the tool section there's a bunch of useful tools within the software you can go to the auto run section and uncheck anything you don't want automatically running on startup but be careful what you select here as if you disable something that is needed for windows to function then you'll know about it there's also a junk files cleaner a windows cleaner and a web browser cleaner in here which can be useful the last software i will be covering is windows privacy dashboard and it's a convenient way to configure various privacy settings within windows once again you can also uninstall apps in here but the thing we want to do in here is just disable telemetry and disable telemetry IPs. Once that's done, you can close out of here. And that's about it for this video. All the links to any softwares I've installed will be in the description and any codes I've used for PowerShell will also be in the description. Now these are all the utilities and softwares I use to optimize my PC. Of course, there's plenty of other Windows utilities and tweakers out there, but the ones I've covered today are the ones I know that are safe and reliable. I hope this video helps you out, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all soon.